the bargain warehouse opens today on the South Strand and this morning we're finding out what makes this business so unique. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth is there live in Merle's Inlet with a look. Oh my gosh, it is a shopping experience that you've never had before. That yeah. is for sure. That's right. So yeah. you've got this whole warehouse full of anything and everything. Like in this box right here, there's an electric fireplace. Over here, there's some tents, some lights. Anything, <laughs> everything. Anything you think, so, see at the stores, yes. Explain this to me because people can come in and spend some money and then they can go home and That's right. get more money. Yeah. Right? yeah, so you can buy, you come in here and pick out your pallet. Usually it's like a couple hundred bucks. And you can, and it'll have anything like you find at your house. I mean, it'll have toys, it could have sporting goods, it could have tools. But they, they take this out and you can uh, either have a yard sale or you can sell it at a flea market or, yeah, just and so anything and everything. This has really become a way Toasters. for people to make extra money for yeah. themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you can buy it for a couple hundred bucks, go out on the weekend and make $600, you know, and come back the next week and buy two more. Wow, yeah. and mm -hmm. people have been having a lot of success with this, like, yeah. like newlyweds or stay-at-home parents or yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah, and I've been doing this 20 years, so it's been been doing really well. But yeah, a lot of single families or, or new, yeah, newlyweds, they come in and want to make an extra couple hundred bucks on the weekend, perfect. Wow, and mm -hmm. it's got to be so fun to be here, because just look it out. Yeah. Okay, like, yeah. this is super cool, a little blender. I don't know what yeah. this is, but <laughs> it could be neat. I mean, yeah. it's like Christmas every day, yep. right? Yep. That's exactly right. And yes. all the, you know, there's a variety of different department stores, like, you know, Myers and Walmart, Walmart Kohl's, Home Depot, Bass Pro Shop, you know, you name it. Yeah, yeah. we saw some really cool stuff from yeah. Bass Pro Shop yeah, over absolutely. there. Yeah. How, how do you not walk through and just, you know, like want to look at every box? Because it's kind of a surprise what you get. You never really know. Yeah, it, it, right. It's, uh, I've seen it so much, but yeah, it is exciting. It's like always something new, always something different. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm really excited. I really just want to tear open these boxes. Guys? Yeah, it's a massive treasure hunt. And that's the thing. She's been really excited about what she could find this morning. So we'll uh, check in with her in our 6 o'clock hour as well. A new warehouse is opening up today at the Inlet Square Mall that's unlike most stores we're used to seeing. Yeah, let's go live now to ABC 15's Amanda oh, Kinseth at the Bargain Warehouse in Merle's Inlet. She'll explain how it all works. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool. So you go around and you can buy these, you know, pallets or big boxes of stuff and then people in turn take them home and they have a, a yard sale or they might, you know, sell them online or right. do whatever and right. end up making a bunch of money. But I'm just yeah. having fun going through all the boxes <laughs> because there's a bunch of Christmas fun Christmas every in day, there. right? Yeah. Yeah, no, the people would come in, uh, a lot of times, you know, when I first opened up, uh, moms would come in with like their power bill money and they would buy a pallet yeah they would bring in 300 bucks they'd buy a pallet for 300 take it on the weekend and then come back and on monday and buy another one and say well hey i made 600 bucks wow. so they would pay their power bill and have extra money so yeah yeah so it's a so that's really kind of what way got me that going in the people business, in the yeah. area can you know have been making oh, yeah. money yeah make extra money to. so yep. what you spend a few hundred dollars you could get yeah. a thousand yeah of, yeah usually the dollars. pallets are worth a thousand plus so if you spend 300 bucks um, you know, you can you can make yourself you can double your money, and sometimes triple your money. You kind of did this. You you kind of deal all over the country. You do the the big thing, but you yep. kind of wanted to bring something here locally to the area to help out the people who live right. here too. You yeah. kind of like centering more local. Yeah, this yeah we do a lot of over overseas shipping, but and do it in big volumes. But we figured if we brought something locally yeah so people could come in and actually make money themselves instead of having to buy a whole truckload and spend ten twenty thousand you can come in and buy three a pallet for three hundred or two hundred even you know so just kind of yeah. sprucing up the local yeah. economy a little Absolutely. bit and plus and it's a lot of money. fun and i tell you i i don't know how we've kept cameraman keith out of the toy boxes that are over there because you've got the big boxes full of toys too <laughs> it's like christmas guys. It really kind of is like Christmas. You never know what you're going to get. I know. I was just looking them up, figuring out how I can get in all this. Yeah, there's, they have a full website. I think it's thebargainwarehouse.com. Don't it, quote me. Just, just okay. Google it. Cool. Bargain Warehouse. The Bargain Warehouse opens today along the South Strand, and this morning we find out what makes this new business so unique. ABC 15's Amanda Kinseth has been live there all morning in Merle's Inlet. Hopefully you're not racking up a tab. Uh, I I want to. Oh my gosh, it's so cool, and it's a great way to buy things because what you do is you buy it, 
and then you take it home, and then you sell it, and you, you can keep a thing or two if you want. That's but, right, yeah. Uh, and then you end up making money, and then you can come back and buy some more. Yeah. A lot of people come in and they'll like, you know what, I was wanting to uh, beat headsets anyway. So if oh. I spend 700 bucks and I get the beats and then I give this as a Christmas gift, yeah, that's what they do. Yeah, yeah. and then Make you money. also you also teach people kind of how to do that. You're yeah. there as a resource. Like, yeah. hey, this is how you can make money with this. This is what you can do. You don't right. keep everything. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, that's the problem. A lot of people want to keep everything. It's like, no, you got to make money. So, um, yeah, we show them how. We kind of give them the idea. It's like the flea market or uh, doing a tent sale on the side of the road or um, uh, doing a yard sale even. A lot of people just take them and just lay it sure. up and do a yard sale. And a lot of people do eBay. With yeah, all the apps and The let everything. go and all that good stuff, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, it's been so fun going through the boxes. I mean, you know, you've got, what, these headphones are $100 each, but they just come in this box. Is this Beats? Yeah. Then you've got Beats what? and you've got JBL and you've got anything and everything. Ooh. Tablets. Yeah. Well, and I found the bow and I um, kind of, I didn't threaten Keith, but he said he made a comment about me not having the arrows. I just figure I keep. Yeah, you keep looking digging. You'll find them. If I keep yeah. digging in this box over here, I'm sure yeah. I will find some arrows. <laughs> so people can just come out here, and you've got people to kind of guide through and. Yeah, help, we help show you, and yeah, we steer you in the floor. right direction. Like if you just want appliances, we'll show you where those are. If you're wanting to buy sporting goods, we'll show you where those are. You know, some people like to buy bedding or whatever they want to buy. We'll show you kind of. Yeah, Where and you've is. donated a lot, too, to the disaster relief we kind of uh, started the morning with um, in yeah. the space in the back, too. But I want yeah. everything. Yeah. I don't think I have a truck big enough to get it to my house. You deliver, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Guys, how do you decide? I guess you have to know exactly what you want when you go in there. Otherwise, that would be hard to choose. I don't know. She's really into the hunt. <laughs> warehouse is opening up today at the Inlet Square Mall that's unlike most stores we're used to seeing. Interesting. ABC 15's Amanda Kenseth is live this morning at the Bargain Warehouse in Merle's Inlet with an up-close look. Good morning. That's right, and you're going to want to stick around to see the warehouse. We're actually in the back of the warehouse now, and I'm with Jill. And Hi. Jill, talk about what you've been doing. Essentially, um, you got linked up with the United Way, and you've been collecting Mm -hmm. stuff and sending it to people in need, people who've been hit by disasters, tornadoes, right. and uh, I think you sent something up to North Car Carolina too. Yes, yes. Um, actually, it was, uh, I, I be had begun collecting things and kind of filling my garage. I ended up um, uh, calling up to North Carolina right after the tornadoes went through Autryville, North Carolina, and I had all this stuff, so I wanted to donate it. I wanted to do something with it just to get it out of my garage. And I ended up speaking with the board with Disaster Recovery that operates out of the building for the United Way. They weren't with the United Way, but they work in conjunction with the United Way to help with disaster recovery. Yeah, and you've got, been linked up with them and then been right. helping out ever since. And right. now um, Bargain Warehouse is kind of, you know, donating this space back here to you. Right. And you've got all this stuff and it's just kind of hanging out waiting um, you help out with disaster relief you help out uh, maybe certain families yes. in need yes if I have a family that comes to me with a Red Cross voucher I can actually refurnish their entire home or if they you know have a fire I can refurnish their entire home with a FEMA certificate Wow! I actually am just getting on the board with FEMA or getting on board with FEMA and with the Red Cross to where I can help people locally and help people you know all over the country the Red Cross actually told me they would actually call me when they had a disaster locally or near me and I can send out an entire truckload which the good thing about it is when I send out a truckload I send out entire pallets instead of sending one or two items I can send an entire pallet I can like send this, couches right I can send refrigerators anything that I have here is ready to go if they need it they can have it. Yeah, and there is a bunch of stuff that's a great way to help out, and I'm sure people can help out you too by right. you know, donations and whatnot as well. Well, once we get up and running, we want to have a, an area where you can bring donations here. I can come out and pick them up. I'll have a couple people hired on that can help me do pickups, and we'll uh, go from there. And helping so. out the people who need it. Guys? Quite so. the mission there. Oh. They have a lot of stuff too. Absolutely, and a lot of space there in the Inlet Square Mall. We'll be checking in with Amanda all morning.